<laughs> Look alive, assholes. It's Mr. Evil Cheese Reviews. <laughs> Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and uh, I guess I'll do a Shane review from The Walking Dead. Yeah, I'll do it. Did all the others, might as well do his too. So, here he is, the one and only Shane McMahon from The Walking Dead. You may know him as the son of Vince McMahon, who owns WWE World Wrestling Entertainment. First off, I'll go over the accessories, and Shane comes with his trademark flamethrower. Yep, it looks like you might think that that will be, you know, a shotgun or something, but it's not, it's a flamethrower. It also shoots missiles, it shoots missiles out of the little thing here, and flames out of the top hair. He used that in episode 3. He blew up a whole building with it. Remember that part? It was awesome. The whole fucking building blew up and zombies went everywhere. Now this this flamethrower became pretty important in episode 5 because that's when the ice zombies attacked. And nobody's bullets would work on them. They couldn't break through the ice. But luckily Shane McMahon here had his flamethrower. Burned them all up. Pretty fucking awesome episode if you ask me. Now you probably know that Shane had a couple different looks during the show. And this is after he shaved off his long blonde hair that he used to wear when he was in a rock band. But, I don't know, I guess this version's alright. I kind of like to have the version of the, the rock rock and roll version of Shane McMahon. But, yeah, it's alright. Maybe they could also give him a Mean Street Posse version. But I don't think they're going to put that one out. All the Mean Street Posse are dead. Accidentally. Got a little close to the flamethrower. Caught on fire, burned up. Now these aren't the original clothes that Shane wore in the show. You might remember he first showed up and appeared in several episodes in his Scooby-Doo pajamas. But now he had to switch clothes because they got all dirty. And uh, in the episode, I think it was episode 9, something like that, he pulled out the chainsaw and cut off, you know, Dell's head because Dell's always fighting with him. So he just it's like, fuck you, Dale, cut his head off. And I uh, wish he would have came with that chainsaw, maybe a severed Dale head. That was one of the most awesome scenes. And since it was Christmas time, he had to take Otis out. Otis had to show him how to get to the Christmas store to get some ornaments and a star to put on the tree for Herschel. And um, while he was out there, he got all kinds of blood and gunk all over him. Stupid little Otis. He ended up dying out there because Otis only had one leg and he's just kind of limping along. And uh, Shane was like, well, I can't. I can't just wait on you. I got this star and he jumped in his uh, Lamborghini, drove back to the farm and just left Otis there to die. And uh, we assume that he's dead. I don't know. They never showed. But yeah, when he got back to the house, you know, what's her name? Maggie. You know, that's, uh, that's uh, what's his name? Daryl's best friend. It's his girlfriend. And um, Maggie ran upstairs and said, hey, I'm going to get you some clothes because yours are so dirty. And she brought down these red and blue striped shorts and golf pants. And Shane was like, fuck that. And he jumped back in his Lamborghini, drove out to town, raided the denim store, and stole all these denim clothes he's got on. And that's why he's wearing these. Now, he had a shirt underneath of this shirt, but he took it off when he was out raping a zombie. He forgot to put it back on, besides it has some more blood on it, and you knew Maggie probably pissed off again, so he's like, fuck that shirt, and he's like, eh, just went shirtless. If you remember the episode where Shane ran out and just shot Herschel in the head, well, he stole Herschel's boots, came in, kicked Maggie in the teeth, that's why there's blood all over there, and um, he even has this uh, nice little spot on the back of his head where his hair is ripped off. That was when the Undertaker charged the ring and attacked him with a chair from behind while the referee was looking the other way. But uh, Shane got back at him a few weeks later. One thing that they did is not quite accurate to the show, it's more accurate, accurate to the comic book, is he comes with his little uh, domo wrestling backpack that he uses in the comics to carry around his crayons. It's still a nice little touch because I don't know if they're going to make a comic version of Shane. So it's really cool that he comes with a little backpack. Because you know, Shane in the comics and in the show has always got his crayons and he's always coloring all over everything. So it is pretty cool that it's there even though you know it's not in the show. I guess I'll go over the paint job. And uh, I'll say his paint job is absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. I mean, all the purples and greens and the yellows and pinks 
it's just awesome. They got all the all the colors of the rainbow in there, and they have a uh, neon pink right here. Really brings out his pants and all the green. It just kind of glows. It's really cool. If you put it in a black light, it all glows like pink and green. It's pretty freaking awesome. Now, as you all probably know, Shane bites the dust in the twelfth episode when he's coloring on on a tree with his crayons and. Deer runs up randomly and impels him with his antlers, and it's a pretty gory scene. And uh, that deer, you know, he was an evil deer, but still, Shane wasn't a very nice guy either. So it was kind of cool that the deer impelled him. And Carl ended up taking the deer back and keeping it as a pet. It's pretty awesome. So now it's a regular character on the show. As for articulation, you can see that his head can turn, and then his leg can spin. And then his other leg can spin, and then his arms spin, and then he does spin. He's spinny. He is, he's the most articulated toy there has ever been made. Look, he can spin. Spin. Not everything can spin like this. He can shoot up. He can shoot up again. He can shoot up that way, shoot up over there, and shoot. Who else can shoot in that many different directions? His head just spins all the way around. Nothing else can do this. This is the most articulated toy I've ever seen in my life. Nothing fucking compares to this toy. It's articulation. Look at this. Even his leg spins. I showed you already, but his leg fucking spins. As for sculpt, I'd say it's pretty accurate. It looks just like Shane McMahon. Maybe a little bit after his uh, Mean Street Posse days. But, yeah, it looks like Shane. He doesn't have a slick back hair, but that's because he cut it all off. That nice long blonde hair. Even the sculpt on the gun's pretty cool. And it's awesome that they left off the, uh, you know, the, the can that holds all their gas and shit so he can use his flamethrower. But that makes sense because he doesn't have one in the show. It just shoots out of there like that. It's pretty cool. So, overall, I'd say that this Shane McMahon toy from The Walking Dead is the greatest action figure that ever existed. You can't go wrong when you buy this one. He can do anything. He can talk, he can fly, he can run around, he can float. He can do whatever you want him to do. You could probably eat him. I think he's edible. It says in the packages that you can eat them, or at least this one. And um, I'm not sure what it tastes like because I don't want to eat the toy because I like it so much. But if you buy two, you can probably eat one and save this one for maybe a snack later or you can display it like I do but yeah it's a really cool toy it comes with this flamethrower it comes with this little domo backpack to carry his crayons in and it's just a really awesome toy all around I highly recommend buying it and if you don't then you are not a fan of The Walking Dead because everybody has to have a Shane toy everyone has to have it everyone okay Telling